Hey guys, I'm Dane, and I gotta admit that I've fallen in love with the aerial combat in Battlefront, even though it was horrible in the beta, and I had more or less sworn it off completely. But well, boy, is it fun now! So basically, I've been playing Squadron quite a lot, and I've always looked for the jet coins around the maps when playing other game modes like Walker Assault. So I wanted to make a tip and tricks video, or guide so to speak, of things that could help you with your flying in case you wanted to get started with it or at least improve it. First of all, always hold left click. This locks your sight onto enemy spaceships and allows for better targeting, but the margin for which it locks on is quite small so you gotta keep your sight on point. Which leads me on to the steering. The steering is done with your mouse and the yellow indicator around the icon, the aim, the crosshair it's called, shows where your mouse currently is and where your aim is going. While the aim, the big white crosshair in the center of your screen, shows where you're currently aiming at. Use the yellow indicator to steer and keep your aim on point, but try to master the steering without focusing too much on the yellow indicator, rather the aim. This is hard, confusing and quite nauseating at first, but after some time it feels more comfortable. Also make use of your F1, F2 and F3 keys as they are dodge maneuvers. These maneuvers help a lot with dodging lock-on missiles and keep you alive versus other spaceships, especially the F2 maneuver when being chased by a ship or a rocket. The other two are best for evading head-on collisions, at least in my experience. F1 rolls left, F3 rolls right and the F2 key does a vertical U-turn. I do recommend binding these to easier keys as you use W, S and the 1, 2 and 3 keys for abilities and speed control. So something like the extra buttons on your mouse would work perfectly for fast and easy clicks. Also stay low to the ground as the mountains and buildings provide great line of sight cover and a easy way to deal with incoming missiles without using the dodge maneuvers because they are on cooldowns when you use them. Once you get comfortable enough with the steering, you can actually stay at these low points with a lot of cover for long periods of time and winning almost every duel because of it. On the speed control, the faster you go, the harder it is for people to lock onto you when you're maneuvering at the same time, especially if you dodge and weave, as just said. The slower you go, the more damage you do and your turn radius become much smaller and faster. The speed is controlled with the W and S keys, W for faster, S for slower. When chasing other fighters in the air and you can't quite catch up with them in tight turns or maneuverability, slow down to tighten your turning radius and catch up with the enemy faster. If you can, turn around in a descending circle as it will keep your turn radius small but increase your speed comparing to turning in an ascending circle. This will not always be possible but when it is, make use of it. So basically if you're still doing the circle at a, let's just call it a vertical, completely 100% vertical um, circle, it will be sometimes hard to keep up with people and sometimes you won't be able to and you will just be in this endless loop or running around trying to chase your own tail basically, but if you do it in a descending fashion, you're able to turn much faster but while still having the same maneuverability, so make use of this. The TIE fighter on the Imperial side and the X-Wing on the Rebel side turn extremely fast, so high speed combat is preferred here because they do less damage than the TIE interceptor and the A-Wing does. They do more damage but they have a way bigger turning, well way bigger, they have a bigger turning circle, I don't know by how much but they they turn a lot slower and the radius of which they turn is a lot better. Again, it's not a lot, it's it's bigger. I don't know the exact margin, so I don't know which term to use precisely here. And on the squadron game mode, make use of the coins around the map. Some repairs your fighter, other, others resets the cooldowns on your abilities, so make use of them. Too often do I see people just basically ignoring them, but those who make use of them stay on top of a lot of fights. Also go for the hero coins. The hero fighters are tanks with a ton of damage, and one extra ability compared to the ordinary fighters. And a skilled pilot can dominate the match if using a hero ship correctly. 
Of course, all the same tips and tricks from above applies here too, but you can take it a bit easy and be a bit more laid back as you can take loads of damage while dissing out a ton as well. The power from regular to hero ratio is way bigger when it comes to aerial combat compared to the infantry hero power-ups. So basically, when you get a hero power-up in aerial combat in squadron game mode, you will be way stronger compared to normal TIE Fighters, or normal A-Wings or X-Wings, compared to a infantry power-up against normal infantry. And also, if you manage to get the Millennium Falcon, if... <laughs> This, this kind of sucks, this is way too overpowered. If you are up against the Slave 1, the opposite hero faction ship, if you put on the shields and you crash into it, you lose virtually no health at all while you do a instant kill on the hero ship. Well, the enemy hero ship, the Slave 1. And the Slave 1 doesn't have a shield, so they, they die instantly and they have no way around this. I did this once by mistake. I was on this head-on collision course with the enemy Slave 1 and I just popped the shield because I didn't want to get any damage from him shooting at me but for some reason none of us were steering off to the left or the right. We crashed right into each other. He died, I didn't, but I got like 4500 points. This is overpowered and so unbalanced. Dice, you gotta fix this. But yeah, basically, please don't make use of this ramming technique because it's it's it sucks. Okay, guys, so please don't. Oh wait, no, make use of it a lot. Use it a lot until Dice recognizes this problem, in case they haven't already, and they change it back to original. Not not original, but back to a more balanced perspective. And that's it for this tips and tricks guide to becoming a better or getting started with the aerial combat in Battlefront. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more and future content on my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.